with a friend of mine after age 10 in the days of the Saturn V. What you see here is the Saturn V standing apparently on the launch pad at Cape Kennedy, Florida. Atop were some astronauts waiting to go on a trip to the moon. Here's the Saturn V on the launch pad getting ready for our takeoff. This particular launch was assisted by a black thread and my friend at the time, my best friend, Mark Bowman. Mark's now a chief engineer at Allison Engine Company working on gas turbines. Once the Saturn V is up heading towards space, the first stage is expended. An inner stage connects the first and second stage. We show the stage coming apart here. In actuality, there is a it's a two-piece event with the inner stage coming off separately. The ignition of the uh, second stage. Shortly after this, an escape pod comes off that would have uh, pulled the crew to safety in the event of a launch abort. After the end of the second stage burn, it will separate. And the uh, remaining vehicle will be into an orbit around the Earth. A slight burn there to uh, get things out of the Earth orbit. The command module comes off and uh, exposes the lunar module. Comes back around for a docking in space to pull the lunar module away from the third stage assembly. Using its thrusters, it eases the lunar module, both ascent and descent stage, out of the top of the third stage assembly. Now we're in position to uh, reorient and make a burn to uh, put a correction and a course toward the moon. So here you can see the dock assembly. This is what the world would, might look like from space. Uh, you can see uh, North America there under the letters, N-O-R-T-H. The world doesn't really spin that fast, and there really is not a line on, painted on the equator. Now, after insertion of orbit on the moon, the lunar module separates from the command module. It has two astronauts inside of it, leaving one astronaut inside of the uh, command module to uh, control operations. And it begins a controlled descent down to the surface of the moon. Here depicted on the pool table in my basement by a quilt. Then the uh, astronauts come out of the front of the lunar module. Here's a depiction of Neil Armstrong taking his first step on the moon. You can see there's a little plaque there with his name on it waiting for him. On the moon, various experiments were performed. You can see uh, some of them here were depicted in this model. The solar arrays and a uh, flag and the astronauts with their EVA suits on. After the uh, designated experimental um, activities and EVAs, the ascent module is ignited, leaving the descent module on the surface of the moon, where it comes back up. And uh, now rendezvous again with the command module. After a successful docking, the uh, way is open, and the uh, astronauts and the uh, samples from the lunar surface are transferred back to the command module to get ready for the trip back to the Earth. Then the ascent module is jettisoned and um, left in an orbit around the uh, moon. I believe it eventually goes back in. And then the uh, service module is again reignited to get out of the orbit of the moon and head back toward the Earth. Uh, after uh, a few days, you get near the Earth, and the uh, command module then separates from the service module in preparation for reentry to the Earth. Here's shown the command module starting through the reentry process. You can see the red flare of the heat coming off. This is produced by putting one of my dad's 78 red records in front of the light. In this operation scenario, we have the USS aircraft carrier Enterprise waiting in the ocean for the splashdown. And we'll see the capsule coming back in here onto the ocean. Since the water's a little bit hard, you can see some cotton underneath the plastic on the pool table to soften the flight. 
You see a quick flash of my friend Mark Bowman there. This movie was made again when I was probably about age 10 or 11 or 12. My friends and I, when we were children, built all the space models and um, together we each built one and so one summer we were a bit bored and we made this movie. But it taught me a lot about rocket propulsion and rocket science and uh, even as a young man I did uh, take took these models around and showed them to various places and activities. So watch out what you get interested in when you're a child. You may end up doing it when you grow up. Thank you very much.